All right, we're here with Bia Bella Baker. Bia, why don't you tell us a little bit about where the idea for the hectroscopy came from and what is the hectroscopy exactly? It came from the universe. It just came to me all of a sudden. It was like out of the blue. I was, it was at the end of the day, I was taking my eye drops and I just had these really weird mental movie visions of um, just being on this different planet and these creatures that kind of look like humans, but they have a silver turtle shell, turtle like half shells with like jewels on them. And um, then the, and there was a swimming pool with a glowing deck and the pool was made of living liquid. And then I just thought it was really cool. And I kind of meditated on it and I let the idea just develop and I let the storyline blossom on its own, and uh, it just became this whole complex storyline that's going to be a eight-part series. Wow. <laughs> um, so where where did you get the title Hectrosopy, and what is a Hectrosopy? Well, there are two great entities that are believed to be in charge of creation on planet Velvelina, which is where the story takes place. One entity, Jumelica, is kind of like the Velvelina version of God. The other entity is Gyosipi, which is kind of the Velvelina version of Satan. But it's kind of a, it's a different way of believing. They don't have religion on that planet or anything. Um, Jumelica is the creator of all things positive on the world, like happiness, the beauty of the world. Jumelica could create, you know, the feelings of love. Um, Gyosipi is the creator of all things negative. So Gyosipi creates disease and disastrous weather and, you know, the ability to feel sad and angry and negativities like that. Well, the two entities coexist together to keep everything balanced, you know, because you don't know, one would not know what it's like to be healthy if they don't experience being sick, things like that. Um, so legend has it that the bad entity was tired of sharing creation with the good entity. So it, these entities have no gender or appearance or anything, it challenged Jumelica to a battle. And if it wins the battle, Jumelica is supposed to leave the world and just let Gyosipi take over all creation. So Gyosipi's battle strategy was to put a vervet which is the, one of the species of people who live on Velvelina, um, put a vervet onto this world. And this vervet has like incredible talent and charisma and everybody loves this person. And um, they, this person, some versions of the story, it's male, some it's female because the legend of the Hectrosopy is one of those stories that have many versions like Earth's fairy tales. Um, he turns, I'm just gonna say he, he turns into the Hectrosopy. His name is Hectroy at first. And in many versions of the story, he's got this big announcement for the whole land. And um, he turns, when everyone gathers together, he mutates and he's like, I am the Hectrosopy. And um, his limbs start multiplying and uh, the limbs have the ability to, when they make certain movements, they, uh, they could control the sky and turn the sky into chaotic storms and control the ocean and create chaos and then control the ground and create, um, it's not earth, so I don't say earthquakes in the book. 
They could uh, create ground quakes and control nature where they like make uh, all the animals just act insane and start ripping each other apart. Uh, so, Giosipi created this monster because it enhanced, it doubled its evil power. So with double the power, it felt that it had um, a better chance of throwing Jumelka out of Velvelina. Well, the legend has it, Jumelka had all its supporters in the land um, use their power of love. I know this sounds cliche, but um, in many versions of the story, it's uh, their power of love is pretty fierce. And in one version, which is explained in the first book, the power of love is actually swords of golden light that come out of the people's hearts and they slice up the hectrosopes, hectropes, and remove its uh, rotten heart. And uh, so the land is saved. And because the land is saved, the world is saved. And um, the land is continent 15, by the way. And Giosipi and its hectrosopy chose to take over continent 15 because it's the smallest land on the planet and it was going to go from the smallest to the biggest because the smallest is you know the most vulnerable so the people defeated the hectrosopy Giosipi had to go back to coexisting with Jumelica and yeah the world was saved so on continent 15 they have this tradition called the hectrosopy festival where it celebrates the defeat of that evil monster. So, yeah, that in book one, that is um, what the storyline goes around. But book one is kind of just kind of a warm up to all the other complexities and uh, subplots and cast the characters in this whole series. Cool.